it is like four something in the morning. I'm up, bottom fat, my palm, my rubber tree, and my pepperoni. I think that's what it is. I fed that top, fed that bottom, fed the rubber tree, the rubber plant, and the palm tree. And now I am watering her. And I water her all the way around. I only water her like every two and a half, three weeks. Um, but if you remember when I got her, she was so short, like really short. Like I was surprised because I seen a video and I'm like, wow, she was shorter than I thought. And look at all her new shoots. If you guys remember, she was a salvageable plant from, um, from Lowe's. And look at all these new shoots. Like this is all new. It's got one here, one here, one here. And it's like, look at it. Then one here. I'm so proud of myself because I didn't realize how therapeutic it was taking care of plants. Not only that, um, just seeing them grow in the beautiful air, the way they filtrate the air in your home and all that good stuff is just like, so amazing but guys she was like i'm gonna try to see if i can find that video so i can insert um footage of how short she was and how she's grown in these months and how i just keep her trimmed it's time for a trim like see and this is a ponytail palm like these little areas i try to trim her like every other week or something like that if i see brown spots i'll just trim it and underneath here you can see what she looks like so yeah, a couple little teeny little leaves that needs to be trimmed. These ones that you see sticking up were ones that I had to trim. And I'm not ready to take them off now. Maybe later, but as she grows, they might just get um, concealed and camouflaged and so you can't see it. It does kind of bother me, but I love her. She's doing well. She's growing. She's a unique type of plant. And uh, yeah, her ponytail is growing. Like, see these? This lets me know it's time to water her too. Um, so I'm gonna go in and give her a trim. And then I'll be back so you guys can see. Hold on one second. Not exactly sure when you're seeing this, but you should have already seen the video of me showing you how I trim um, dead leaves off of plants. I got so much footage that I'm trying to get for you guys for different things I do around my home. And I don't know when I'm putting certain videos out but you definitely can look for that video um if this is something you're interested in but i'm just showing you how i'm trimming her just a little bit I'm not gonna make it long and just these little spots that have been trimmed i just go in and trim at an angle sometimes i trim them at a point like this it just depends on how i feel <laughs> or how thin it is or i'm trimming at. um so i can probably go at an angle with this one and yeah, I'm just going to go in and finish trimming her up and I'll be back. All right, she is all trimmed and she is still, um, you know, let, I'm still letting the water drip. Now with this palm, because of the roots being so fluffy and thick like that, if you hear me fluffy, thick like that, 
Um, I missed the one. I missed one. I see something. I see something. Um, what happens is you don't have to water this often only because it holds water in its um, base to help the plant sustain longer times without. So this is a great plant if you don't want to have to worry about watering it all the time. Um, it holds some water in its roots. So that root, that big base right there that you see, it actually is beneficial to the plant and helps the plant to maintain its own watering and giving the nutrients to the leaves as it should. So yeah, that's that. And let me show you, get all her trimmings up. I'm an anal plant mom. My plants have to look a certain way. I can't do dying yellow plants. Some people allow it. They leave their leaves there and all that. And I just can't do it. I can't do it. My plant represents me. I'm a plant mom and I can't be having my babies look neglected. <laughs> just like my regular children. If I look good, they look good. So yeah, this is my ponytail palm. And it is like 5 in the morning. And I'm up watering plants and... Just did some meditation, and yeah, this is like a therapy for me. Everybody's quiet, everybody's sleeping, I'm all loud. And this is when I get up and I have my time with my plants. I talk to them, wipe them down, do whatever it is I need to do for them. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up the video. If you have any questions about how to create a green thumb, because guess what? <laughs> I didn't always have one. I used to always kill the palm trees. I used to get them from Walmart because they were so gorgeous, and get them home. And they would die. Why? Because I was overwatering them. I'm understanding that all plants are different. I don't care if it's two of the same plants. Sometimes you still have to have the, the water meter to see which one is dry. Because I buy plants in two sometimes for, you know, like in my room, I have two Chinese evergreens on either side of the bed. But one is flourishing more and one is growing a little slower. One don't need as much water as the other. So it does not matter. Each plant is this individual um item so you want to make sure you tend to it accordingly and not try to do everything the same some plants i have to water every couple of days some plants i have to water um i can forget and almost water three weeks some plants um need to be misted like the palms they need to be misted um so it just depends so yeah Plants are care. Um, I mean, plants do need care. So if you're going to get into it, just realize, um, take it slow um, so you're not overwhelmed. And you have people like myself and many other great plant moms and dads on YouTube that can answer your questions and help you um, through the process. Because this is the ultimate way to purify your home and the um, oxygen in your house. Plants are it. So do your research on that. Learn more about that. And that was one of my main reasons for um for wanting a lot of plants in my home and getting my girls into plants as well so they can have them be used to them and then start implementing them in their spaces and even when they are older and out of the house they'll implement them and then pass it down um the care of plants and understanding the importance of having them in our home bringing nature inside and giving us that pure air so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did thumbs up if you have any questions leave them below and if there's nothing else i will see you guys later gators